JAMF software or Jamf, I'm not really sure what to call it. Either way, they are going public this week and they are a very exciting looking company. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the hoodie to prove it. I got the samples on the way. And look behind me. It's a wall that is all one color. If you've never been on the channel before, if you look back on literally any of my other videos, this was the ugliest wall on YouTube. I got it painted and I'm gonna be getting some stuff to hang up in the background. It's finally going to be a nice wall. I'm also considering, just imagine this, getting the logo painted across the whole wall, not a financial advisor across the whole wall. That would be sick. But anyway guys, today we're not speaking about the wall, we're speaking about Jamf Software. This is a company who works very closely with Apple. If you don't know who these guys are, I'll forgive you because they're not even a publicly traded company just yet. And simply put, Jamf is a software company. They pretty much offer on-site and cloud-based device management services. We're gonna get into it all, but this is actually a very exciting looking company it looks very nice. So without visuals in the background, it's going to be too hard to get into this company. So we're just going to get straight into it. But first, could I please ask you to smash a like on the video? You guys are destroying the support lately. Yesterday, we got over 29,000 views in a day. I mean, that is crazy. 29,000 people watched my videos. That's genuinely mind-blowing. So thank you all so much for the support. Of course, if you're one of those people watching the videos who isn't subscribed yet, please do hit that juicy red button. Join the family. The road to 20,000 is on, baby. And lastly, drop me a comment down below once you've watched this video till the end. Let me know what you think about the company. You know, let me know if you're thinking of investing in them, if you're going to be staying away. Just let me know. I always love the interaction with you guys. So anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into this company. And just a quick one, guys. If ever you want to look into IPOs that are either happened recently are up and coming nasdaq.com slash market activity slash ipos fantastic place if you just scroll down a little bit you'll see upcoming and jamf is the second one and that expected ipo date is the 23rd of july which is this coming thursday it's just a nice website to go and you know have a look into some up and coming companies another very interesting company that just went ipo last week relay therapeutics have a look into them if you want. Now, when you first start looking into these guys, things might look complicated, but in essence, it is all really, really simple. So the standard in Apple Enterprise Management, they're trusted by IBM, SAP, Ohio State, and 40,000 plus other businesses and schools. So a very well-established business around since 2002, I believe. Yep, started back in 2002. So in essence, this service connects, manage, and protects Apple products, apps, and corporate resources in the cloud without ever having to touch a device. So cloud companies, integrate with Jamf to provide these services. As we just said, more than 40,000 organizations already rely on Jamf right now. 40,000, that is a lot. So there's some names here. A lot of schools use this service and that will become apparent as to why later on. The only company's name I really recognize is Eventbrite, but I mean, come on, more than 40,000 organizations are using these guys' services. About Jamf. Helping organizations succeed with Apple, paving the way for a better Apple experience in businesses and schools. And the story behind this company is pretty cool. It's just, you know, a guy who saw something that needed to be done and he did it. So they were born from the desire to create a better technology management solution for the hundreds of Macs on the University of Wisconsin. As a student, Zach Halmstead, co-founder, worked full-time in the IT department, deploying, updating, and tracking over 400 student and faculty Macs, all manually, obviously. After years of wishing there was a smarter, more efficient way to do his job, he decided to create one himself. So this man is an opportunist, you know what I mean? He saw an opportunity, he went and he took it, and has grown into something incredible. And obviously, this company is just going IPO, so a lot of people won't know too much about the ins and outs of the company. So it's important to understand, currently, they manage over 17 million Apple devices, and they have over 1,000 full-time employees in 100 different countries and territories. So it's a big company. You know, it's not like it's a little startup. It's a big company. And you'll see that when you look at the offer amount for their initial IPO, it is far larger than the large majority. And I mean far larger. So here are their five main services that they offer. And if we started off with Connect, that's the easiest one to understand. So they streamline Mac authentication and identity management. Simplify the user experience while eliminating support challenges for IT. So essentially, they leverage one single cloud identity on any Apple device to gain immediate access to the resources you need. So you know, if you've ever worked in a place where, you know, you sit down at a desk and you have your own computer, you, you have to sign in, you know, you have to sign into that company's cloud. You don't just bring your own laptop in open it up and start working. Because obviously, this company could have, you know, sensitive apps. They could have apps that the whole world can't download, you know, it's just for the company. So that is where a company like Jamf comes in to leverage a single cloud identity. So this is all well and good, you know, this old system of, you know, going into an office building, sitting down at a desk, logging in with your credentials. If anything goes wrong, if you forget a password, you just go to the IT man, that's how it works. But now, 
The world's moving online. Cloud companies and companies like Jamf are becoming more and more popular with this whole, you know, work at home model. If we look at Facebook, for example, you're all more than likely very aware that they're going to give employees the option to work from home full time in the future, even after the Roni has completely and utterly disappeared off the face of the earth. So big corporations like Facebook are going to need services like this. Services that allow their employees to work off the cloud, but also completely and utterly protect any sensitive data that they are going to be using. So account provisioning. Whether it's during setup or in day to day use, Jamf Connect ensures a single identity is being used to access a user's device and applications without the need to bind to Active Directory. Identity management. Keeping accounts and resources secure is a big job. That's why Jamf Connect provides IT admins with the ability to keep an eye on all company devices and who is accessing them, when and from what device, providing peace of mind that both the device and corporate information are protected. So obviously something like this is really important to big, you know, companies like Facebook or Microsoft, obviously Apple, who hold lots of sensitive customer information. You can monitor everything that's happening on these devices and make sure everything's staying very safe. Password sync. 50% of all IT help desk tickets are password resets. That's why Jamf Connect keeps accounts credentials in sync between the Mac and cloud identity provider ensuring employees stay on task instead of making trips to IT. So it's a productivity thing as well. So then there are other services as well. Jamf Protect. Jamf Protect safeguards Mac users from malware and costly breaches with purpose built tools. That's straightforward enough. Then they have Jamf Pro, okay? A complete Apple management solution for IT pros. I mean, straightforward, it's the big boy. Jamf Now, a relatively simplified version of the Pro, a simple to use cloud-based solution for less complex technology environments. And Jamf School, this is where it all started really. It's a powerful MDM solution for today's modern classroom. Jamf School is a purpose-built mobile device management solution. That's what MDM stands for for schools. With its intuitive web-based interface, deploying, managing and securing Mac, iPad, iPhone and Apple TV has never been simpler. Jamf School gives you the ability to deploy and manage Apple devices the best learning technology with ease so you can focus on your mission of teaching students. So some of you may or may not be aware, but a lot of Apple devices, you know, iPads in particular, I know of in Ireland, are being used in schools now to replace books. So a service like this is going to be very important going forwards. That does seem to be the way the world is going, you know, books in schools are kind of dying off slowly but surely and more and more iPads and things of the likes, even MacBooks are being introduced. So again, you can't just rock up to school with an iPad, you know, they are going to have to have a service like this. And again, this could just help productivity in schools so, so much. So that's the basics of what they do, okay? It is relatively simple to understand and they definitely have a large role to play going forwards and they clearly have a massive market already. From a money point of view, right now, $225 million of annual recurring revenue. A $225 million annual recurring revenue is nothing to sneeze at at all for a company who is just going public. They also have a 120% net retention rate. Fantastic. And over 100,000 Jamf Nation community members. So it's an absolutely massive company, no doubt about it. This is their mission, to help organizations succeed with Apple. I like this from the start. I am a big bull on Apple. Apple is the second biggest position in my portfolio right now. It should go without saying I want Jamf to succeed. It will only be good for Apple. And if Apple succeeds, it will only be good for Jamf. They both are intertwined. If you want to get really down and dirty and look into this company, okay, go to their form S1. There's a lot of information. A, a lot of information. There's a lot of information. So obviously this company revolves around Apple being successful. I mean, they work with Apple products specifically, okay? So... Apple is ubiquitous. It is the most valuable brand in the world, according to Forbes. And in 2018, it became the first company to cross a market cap of $1 trillion. The first company. Now, I always say I see the world moving online, okay? So, the consumerization of IT is important. And what that refers to is the migration of software and hardware products originally designed for personal use into the enterprise, into big businesses. A company who revolves around Apple, their relationship with Apple would have to be good. So, they're a customer. In 2010, Apple became a Jamf customer. In 2011, they became a Jamf channel partner in the education market, reselling their software solution to K-12 and higher education organizations within the US. And they're a member of Apple's mobility partner program, which focuses on solution development and effective go-to market activity. So they work closely alongside Apple. So market opportunity, obviously very important whenever we're looking at any company. So the global total addressable market, okay, is estimated to be $10.3 billion in 2019 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 17.8% to $23.4 billion by the end of 2024. So a massive market opportunity here, massive. So three months ended June 30, 2020. Total revenue, 48,310,000. There was an operating loss of 4,438,000. A non-GAAP operating income.
income of 4,350,000. So their sponsor is Vista. October 11, 2017, okay, Jamf to receive majority investment from Vista Equity Partners. Vista Equity is a leading investment firm focused on software, data, and technology enabled business. This transaction will allow Jamf to accelerate its growth and innovation through focused investment and strategic acquisitions that drive its mission to help organizations manage Apple devices. The company's annual recurring revenue grew by more than 40% in both 2016 and through the first three fiscal quarters of 2017. It has been fantastic and it's only gotten better. Back in 2017, okay, Vista Equity had more than $30 billion in cumulative capital commitments. Now they have more than $57 billion in cumulative capital commitments. So, a good company to have on your team. Now they contribute professional expertise and multi-level support towards companies to realize their potential. Fantastic. The growth in this company has been fantastic, okay? Three months ended March 31st, 2020 versus 2019. Subscription, up. Services, down a little bit. License up, overall up a considerable amount, about 30%. Now with that being said, cost of revenue has gone up as well. Operating expenses obviously have gone up. Other income net is about the same. So overall they're growing, you know, they're getting more and more customers, but they're also spending more to get those customers. That, that's how it works though. Net loss was actually down, both on that quarter and the yearly. Cost of revenue going up, that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world in the short term. One of the key risks with this company, okay, we derive a substantial portion of our revenue from one product. For the year end of December 31st, 2019, sales of subscriptions to our Jamf Pro product accounted for approximately 78% of total revenue. That's not too worrying to me though, because it simply is their best, most popular product. I mean, most companies have a best, most popular product. There's nothing necessarily wrong with this, but it is just something I wanted to point out. So there are several risks that need to be taken into factor with a company like this. We may need to change our pricing model to compete successfully. Disruptions, capability limitations, or interface issues. They need to be able to maintain, enhance, and protect their brand. They need to maintain their corporate culture. They need to continue to thrive and grow. But I mean, this is something that goes for every company. But it is still worth understanding the risks. I do think that going public for this company will be fantastic. It will mean more capital for more expansion. And the principal purpose of this offering is to increase our capitalization and financial flexibility. That's exactly what we want to see. So the customer cohort analysis. So this is a subset of behavioral analytics that take the data from a given data set and rather than looking at all users as one unit, it breaks them into related groups. So their customers from 2013 and earlier, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. You can see that in general, all of them do end up spending more. But as time has gone on, newer customers have ended up spending even more, which could well be a good sign going forward, you know, that they're gonna get more high-end clients who will keep increasing the amount of money that they give to this company. So obviously I can't go through that whole filing. It would take so, so long. Me personally, I am interested in this company to be completely honest with you. And because of that, I am gonna have to ultimately go through the large majority of that filing before I decide whether or not I will invest. But I'm not gonna be able to do that today or even tomorrow or probably the next day. I'm studying to become a financial advisor, people. After making this video, I have to go to at least probably six, seven, eight hours of study today. Mondays are busy. But I will slowly but surely keep looking into this company and I might make a follow-up video if I do decide to invest and if there is enough interest in this company. I do think they are offering a very exciting opportunity though. I will most definitely be keeping a very close eye on the company. I will put it that way. They excite me. Not that it's necessarily the most exciting business in the world, but the prospects excite me. But guys, there we have it. A very interesting company who's going public in a few days. As I just said, I will be keeping up to date with this company. I'm going to, you know, keep my eyes peeled, see if any more information comes out, anything that's a little bit more condensed than that SEC filing. But if not, I am just going to slowly but surely make my way through that filing as it's pretty much the best information we have right now to give us a really good understanding of the company. I would love to go through it all in detail now but you know study calls that, that's the joys of trying to go full-time on youtube and study full-time all at once but anyway guys i appreciate you all so much for watching till the end i really do the support on the channel has been absolutely incredible you are changing my life people and i have so much love for all of you so thank you so much if you did enjoy the video and you got some sort of value out of it please do smash that like button and drop me a comment both of those things help me out so much and motivate me so much i really would appreciate it i hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day i will see you for tomorrow's video peace